my friends! Today's reading is going to be for new love. If you listen to it and you resonate with someone from your past, that's fine. I'm specifically um, channeling new love. And right away what I'm hearing is that I feel like you've been hurt in the past, Three of Swords. And I feel like maybe it's taken you a while to move on here. Um, you could be someone who journals. I do feel like there's someone approaching your energy. Look at that. It could be that you needed to heal some things before you were ready for this to come in. It's possible what I'm seeing is I am seeing that perhaps someone in the past, we have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse, and I feel like that in the past perhaps someone deceived you or manipulated you and caused you heartache here. And I feel because of that, not only has it been hard to let that person go, but it's also been hard to release fear about love and suspicions about people's motives and intentions. Because if you are someone who was manipulated, of course you're going to be afraid that that's going to happen again. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm seeing. So I see someone new coming in after you are healing from this heartache and learning how to trust again. With the Seven of Swords, you could have been avoiding love recently. And now that you're, you know, ready to think about it again, it's coming in. Let me just move my hair. <laughs> okay, so we have the Five of Cups. So like I said, I feel like in the past, you experienced some heartache. And perhaps it took you a while to release that past person. I don't think that person appreciated you very much, is what I'm seeing. Ah. <laughs> I don't think that person appreciated you very much. Perhaps they chose someone else over you. I do feel like your kind of romantic life has maybe become stagnant. But change is afoot, my friend. <laughs> Change is afoot. I feel like you've had a breakthrough moment. I feel like you've had some kind of awakening where... Awakenings are so funny because it can, it can happen subconsciously. It can happen like in an instant when we have a realization about something. So you're ready. I keep hearing Lizzo. Are you ready? Are you ready to be loved? Because here it comes. <laughs> So we're going to see who this is. Like I said, we're channeling, we're channeling new. What the heck? <laughs> Interesting. So we do have the devil on the bottom. And like I said, you could have been dealing with a very toxic energy in the past. And it could have helped, or not helped you, it could have resulted in you losing trust in people. Um, it could be that, you know, for a while you were listening to your ego, you were listening to that devil energy and not trusting anyone because I do feel like you've been hurt in the past. So we're going to see who this is coming towards you in love, new love. We have the magician, beautiful. Oh my gosh, we have the lovers. Stop it. And we have the high priestess. Stop it. Uh, for some of you, this could be a past person, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm channeling new, but I want to tell you there's a potential of this being a past person after learning lessons. So we do have, it's interesting because we have high priestess and magician here, and those are the original pair in tarot, feminine, masculine. Um, high priestess to me shows that you don't see this is coming yet. Um, this is hidden from you right now. And this is someone who wants to give to you and who wants to be on your level. Maybe you both have kitty cats. Maybe you both have cats and your cats become friends. Um, anyway, we do have a love connection coming towards you. Someone who wants to choose you. We have the magician. So this is your manifestation. If you've been manifesting someone, they're coming in. Um, again, I'm channeling new, but what I'm seeing for some of you is that you're manifesting, getting back together with someone, 10 of swords in reverse, and it is coming in. The other thing I'm seeing for those of you who are not manifesting that person, if you are manifesting new, it, 
Four of Wands. It comes in, Four of Wands, after you release that past person, after you heal from that. So if you are someone who is... If you are someone who is feeling like they're moving on, they're getting on with their life, you're feeling better, I feel like something, someone's about to come towards you here. What else can you tell me about this person, Spirit? That one didn't want to come out. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So after a break, Hanged Man energy on the bottom. After a break from love, we see someone coming in here who wants long-term stability with you. You could meet this person at work. There's a whole lot of pentacles here, a whole lot of earth energy. We have Aries, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who know the, the feelings are reciprocated. This is equal give and take. This is someone very balanced who knows how to give and receive love. And Ten of Pentacles, this person could already have a family, or you may. Um, yeah, this person may have a family. This person could also have a career helping people, or I'm seeing like a career in finance, or just helping people balance something. Maybe they're a therapist. Um, but this is someone who wants to give you equal give and take. Um, beautiful energy, beautiful. After you have had some time on your own to gain new perspective i do feel like perhaps you're releasing someone in your past for some of you so let's see um i want to look at characteristics of this person we have the eight of wands so they're a very good communicator um they say what they mean they mean what they say they show up when they say they're going to show up. This is someone who is a very good communicator, puts a lot of time and energy into communicating with you and having the six of pentacles balance equal give and take. So if you're someone in the past who had someone that didn't communicate with you very much, this new person or this changed person, however it's resonating for you, wants to have forward movement with you. This is someone who embraces change this isn't someone who fights change this is someone who embraces change embraces growth we have the king of cups so this is someone could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces who is very open with how much they love you i also feel this person not playing games with you i'm hearing and i also feel like they're gonna bring you a lot of joy and happiness because i do see dolphins in the background there Maybe you meet them when you're swimming with dolphins. I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> I want to come swim with the dolphins. <laughs> Let's see another characteristic of this person. <gasps> They're your match. <laughs> They're your match. We have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so this is someone who knows how to give and receive love, which is what I was saying with the Six of Pentacles. This is someone... I feel like your love language will be validation and like loving words is what I'm seeing. This could be someone watching you right now and you don't even know it. Um, this person could be at a distance. I'm also feeling like this person may, I don't, I feel like they may want to have a baby with you, but I'm just going to say that. <clears throat> this is someone who you will not have to overgive to. Like this is someone who can match your energy. This shows soulmate energy with the pair. So this could be a soulmate coming in. We do have the chariot, so this is coming in quickly. Like I said about this person, because we're looking at characteristics of them, this is someone who's not afraid to take action. This is someone who's not afraid to move quickly. Not that moving quickly is great, but this is someone who doesn't shy away from moving quickly. Um, this is someone who takes action, a lot of action towards this connection and puts in the work. You could meet this person at work. Again, three of pentacles. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is how they make you feel or what feeling they inspire in you. How do they make you feel? 
We have the seven of pentacles, like you're worth investing in, like you're worth making an effort for, like you're worth putting time into and energy. Nine of cups. So this person is going to help you or inspire the feeling of you feeling very fulfilled. I also feel like this person is going to help you feel more optimistic about things. Very intuitive, very intuitive connection. This is wish fulfillment. So this is someone who's going to make you feel very happy. This is someone who's going to tell you how they feel. Um, Knight of Cups and make, not make you feel, but in, this is a very, there's a lot of emotion here. So this, this is going to be a connection where you have an emotional connection is what I'm seeing. Um, and this person appears to want to give you a lot of their energy, which is nice get another one we have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles this is beautiful the page of pentacles shows that you feel stability from this person you feel it and what's even better is that this person seven of swords in reverse this person is someone who kind of brings you out of what i'm hearing is this person is very trustworthy and you trust them quite quickly, not in a bad way, not in a naive way. This is someone who's very honest and any fears that you were having about being manipulated and things like that, they're not there anymore with this person. Um, it's like you put all those burdens down, ten of wands. So how is this person going to feel about you? Justice! <laughs> You're very fair, you're very compromising, you're very honest. The things you want are not too much or you're not asking for too much. This person feels like you're asking for what is fair. Um, this person could find you quite compromising. They think you're very honest. Maybe you work in the legal system. We also have the three of pentacles. So it is this energy of this person sees feels that you work really well with others. You give a lot of your energy, you're fair, you're balanced. Um, they feel this connection with you, Three of Pentacles. A very balanced connection with you. Let's get another one. Yeah, we have the King of Wands. So this is someone who feels very passionate about you. <clears throat> so we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this person sees you, feels that you're worth the effort. I'm hearing not that you're a lot of effort, but I feel like maybe someone in your past made you feel like you were a lot of effort. This is someone who makes you feel prioritized here. This is, I just keep getting the energy. This is someone who takes control. This is someone who has a lot of masculine energy. I'm hearing like a lot of emperor energy. So wanting to ask you out a lot, wanting to communicate a lot, wanting to take you out on dates, wanting to put in effort, wanting to plan things, um, which could be very different than what you experienced in the past. Um, but yeah, I want to see how you're going to meet this person. We'll have a look. My hair is driving me crazy. <laughs> Three of wands. So you could, I feel like you're going to meet this person. Maybe you'll meet them when you're in a castle, because that happens every day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you could meet them when you're on a trip. I'm getting that very clearly. Where was that card that I just saw? Three of Wands, yeah. I do feel like you meet this person when you're moving forward with your life. Um, forgive me, I'm, I'm sick. I feel like you meet this person when you're moving forward um, with your own life. You could meet this person on a trip when you're traveling, I'm seeing. I'm almost getting maybe you meet this person in a setting where there's, I know this sounds weird, but a setting where there's a lot of books. So perhaps like a classroom or a library or a place of business, I'm hearing. Let's get some more for how you'll meet. We have water, so water could be symbolic about how you meet. The Ace of Cups shows this person comes into your life when you're 
when you've learned not to overgive to someone, when you've learned to love what's in your own cup, I do get heavy travel energy for how you meet this person. Um, really interesting. There's a lot about water. Um, I keep seeing like dolphins and sharks and whales. So maybe you meet this person around water or at like, I'm seeing an aquarium. I know that sounds crazy. Six of Swords, you definitely meet this person when you're moving forward in your life. Six of Swords can also talk about travel. It can talk about after you move. And we have the Page of Swords, you could meet this person online. Um, definitely could be a student. You could meet them at school or this could be a student that you meet. And it seems like hidden forces are at work. We have the moon energy for your, for how you meet. So to me, it almost feels like spirits keeping this, like I've been having a hard time figuring it out. And what I'm hearing is that if you knew how you met them, you might not, you might start chasing it. Like if I told you, you were going to meet them on a whale watching tour, which is for some of you is what I'm getting. <laughs> You might start going to every whale watching tour there is. You might start traveling the globe, going on, you know, crazy whale watching adventures, chasing your soulmate. And spirits saying hidden forces are at work. Um, Halloween could be symbolic, although Halloween's really far away, so no. Um, <laughs> Pisces energy or Pisces season could also be very symbolic. I am also seeing the energy of a teacher. So there is there seems to be this like teacher student books thing coming through. I'm just saying again online maybe this person is some kind of person on social media that leads others or is a or is a guide to others. My hair is driving me crazy. <laughs> anyway, all right, what do we need to know about this person? This is someone who has excellent balance between work and love, or they're going to be able to balance you. So if this was someone in the past that didn't know how to balance love and work or love and life, this is someone who has it down. Like this is someone who knows how to balance their life. Again, this is someone very mature, could be older than you, um... Who knows what they want? And again, this could be someone from your past. I'm not saying it's not. I am channeling new love, though. Um, as far as how they look, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a lot of long hair. So your person... And I'm not meaning, like, super long like mine. But I'm meaning, like, we're getting a lot of this type of... This type of hair. Like, somewhat long. I'm getting a lot of dark hair. There's a lot of dark hair here. This person has long blonde hair. But mainly I'm seeing a lot of dark, semi-long hair. So like shag cut I'm seeing. Um, as far as feminines, we have long black hair, long red hair. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we have red curly hair, long dark hair. We do have a blonde over here. So in readings like this, you're supposed to take, you know, the way that some of these people look as indicators of who this could be. Maybe this person's already a mother if you're manifesting a feminine. Yeah, long black hair is what I'm seeing a lot of. A lot of, a lot of long hair here. Long hair could be symbolic. Maybe you have long hair and they have that color hair or that length that shaggy hair or maybe you have shaggy hair I don't know what I'm saying anymore anyway any advice we have the six of swords so if you were thinking about taking a trip go if you're thinking about going anywhere go if your intuition is like oh maybe I should go to that place today go <laughs> and keep releasing the past keep moving forward don't become stagnant 
Three of Cups does show you making more of an effort to, or for me, advice on making more of an effort of getting out there, putting yourself out there. Perhaps your friend says, hey, do you want to go here? Go, because you could meet that person here. You could meet them in a social setting with this Three of Cups energy. I want to see, actually, I don't want to get those yet. I want to get an animal card to see what we can see about this person. And right away, we have the cheetah. And there's that masculine energy I've been feeling. Again, I'm channeling new. This is someone who will put in the work and who will take action towards you and approach you. You will not be chasing this person. I'm telling you that right now. This is not someone you chase. This is someone who gives. This is someone who's very spiritually awakened. They know how to listen to their intuition. They know what they want. So again, I'm getting a more mature energy. So how... Let me see about this person. Oh, isn't that interesting? We have the zebra. So, like I was saying, I think this is someone who's spiritually awakened with the zebra. We see this um, lit up third eye chakra. This also says worldly. So again, you could meet this person when you're traveling. Maybe you go on a safari and you see a zebra. Zebras could be symbolic. They could be a sign. Um, this is someone who's really going to open your mind. Like I said, I feel like coming into this, you may have reservations. You may be afraid to trust this person. This is someone who opens your mind. Um, it does say this person could be eccentric, 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 blah, 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 blah. eccentric, eccentric, however you say it. <laughs> and that's okay. Maybe they're on the spectrum like me. <laughs> it's okay to be different. It also says this person is very creative. So like I said, king of wands, fire energy. This could be someone who's a guiding light to others, who shows others the way. Um, this person could really like volunteering. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. An epic adventure! Hmm. I'm telling you, I think you meet this person while you're traveling. I think that's why... Only those cards with traveling images were coming out. Interesting. Let's get one more for your person. <clears throat> Ooh, we have the cosmic egg, which is beautiful. This is completion. This, this is someone who's worked on themselves. This is someone who's awakened. This is a spiritual card. This is someone who's transformed themselves from a different version. Um, I'm hearing completion, you know, I don't see you repeating cycles with this person. I feel like in the past, maybe you were repeating a cycle with people, friends, family, and the cycle stops here is what I'm hearing. This is a very spiritually evolved person though, is the main thing that I'm getting with this energy. So you could both be into spirituality. We also have the fox, and the fox gets a really bad reputation because the fox we often see on, you know, the Seven of Swords. And what's really interesting about this one, this is Earth energy, so we have the spiritual card, fire, and now Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The fox is an amazing, stable partner. This is someone who you can depend on. So that's very nice. Um, I'll just quickly touch on it here, the fox. Teacher, did I not say he could, they? Interesting, I don't usually use pronouns. I usually say they. Interesting, I, he slipped out, so for some of you it is a he. Um, magical teacher. This is someone who wants monogamy. This is someone who is faithful. This is not someone who will manipulate you and deceive you. Um, Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn. And what did I say? This person learns quickly. They go through, they take on change um, in quite a positive way. Anyway, yeah, so this could be... Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see how you'll feel when you're with them. Ooh, we have a rebirth. Refreshing. This feels very healthy. Cleansing, freeing you, helping you transform. Frog. Clearing, cleansing, healing. What did I say? <laughs> Clear energy and enthusiasm for life. They're going to reignite your enthusiasm. <laughs> the frog and the water element are almost inseparable. Um, cleansing, rejuvenation. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished. So that it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. Very interesting because I feel like with the king and queen of cups, this is going to be someone who is very generous about taking care of you and like being there for you emotionally. This is someone emotionally available. Green flag. <laughs> Green frog. <laughs> That's funny. Um, anyway, this, this talks about forgiving and releasing. So I feel like it, it actually allows you to believe it's like this person restores your faith in partners is what I'm seeing. And this feels very healthy, very refreshing to what you're used to. Very nice. Um, let's get one more card. Whoa. Let's get one more card for how you'll feel with them. We have the lion and the lion is such, um, this person is going to make you feel so stable. The lion, fire energy. So there's a lot of passion here, you guys. There's a lot of fire energy. <laughs> Lots of, you know. <laughs> anyway. Um. <laughs> lion, 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 lion. Personal and spiritual growth. This could be someone who doesn't let a lot of people in, so you could feel very... Or maybe you don't let a lot of people in, so this person... There's something about this person... You you feel like you have a friendship with them. You feel like you can open up to them. You feel like you can trust them. Um, this is someone who... You know, makes you feel like everything's okay. It's a very patient, relaxed energy. It's a very, like, when you think about a lion sitting in the desert, it's not afraid that anything's going to come out and hurt them. It lays in the sun and enjoys its time. Um, and that's how you're going to feel with this person. You're going to feel safe, is what I'm hearing. Beautiful. So let's get some, let's get some of these first about your person. Interesting. We have purity right away. <clears throat> all right so what can you tell me about this person coming towards you in love we have another vehicle you guys we have another vehicle um so again you could meet this person when you're on a trip um knowledge again so there's this energy of this person being a leader of some sort or a teacher or a student um maybe you're a student they're a teacher i don't know we also have new beginnings and daffodils represent hope. So again, this new beginning is going to restore your hope in love is what I'm seeing. Let me just get the love. 10, Wheel of Fortune energy. I'm going to run out of time. It's time to start a new cycle. Life force and vitality are emerging. Release that which doesn't serve you and support you. Make way for a new start. Mm-hmm. Life goes in cycles. Just as spring follows winter, a new cycle is beginning in your life. Spring could be symbolic. Um, in the phases of the earth, the plants die in the fall so that there can be new birth in the spring. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There is a time to end and begin, and this is a close of one cycle and a beginning of another. We associate the daffodil with spring, as it is one of the first flowers to emerge after the snow. 
it's sh it's shape blah, blah, blah. it's shape echoes the feeling of trumpeting in the new season. Its color suggests vitality, radiance, and sunshine. The appearance of this card brings a message to wipe the slate clean. It's time to release the old and start again. It can be difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no longer empower you. However, your highest self encourages you not to cling to the old, but to set sail in new waters. Maybe you're supposed to take a boat trip. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to start a course of study, like a class, and you meet this person in that class. If you find yourself afraid to let go, Daffodil Fairy urges you to face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction. The creator is at your side and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. Wholeness occurs when you can say yes to both endings and beginnings. Beautiful. And I just want to look at this knowledge one. I do get that this is someone who... I do think this is someone who's very honest and very, like like I said, they say what they mean and they mean what they say. There is a message here not to judge a book by its cover with this person. Don't assume you know everything that's happening with them because there's a lot more, there's a lot more to be seen with this person is what I'm hearing. Um, interesting. Let's get these soul seeker cards and see if anything comes out. We have the moon, so you could meet this. We're getting the moon a lot. Um, so you could meet this person around a new moon, which is all about um, intentions, new beginnings. Full moons are about releasing. So you could meet this person around a moon cycle. We do have rebound new relationship moving on quickly so it's possible that you could have been involved in a situationship and perhaps when that situationship that had been ending for a while ended perhaps this comes in really quickly um, for some of you who are resonating with this sounding like your person changed we do have the reconcile card and getting back together with someone. I did say I saw that in the beginning. I didn't want to focus on it, but it is here. If you're still here. We also have online meet on the internet chat connection. So you could meet this person online. Like I said, this person could be... They could be some kind of creative person in the spotlight. We have compromise. That's what this person is all about. Meeting you halfway. Middle ground, equal give and take. We have spicy. <laughs> Maybe they like hot peppers. <laughs> we have naughty, sexy, hot under the collar. Oof, oof. <laughs> is that what that is? Oof, I don't know. <laughs> we have brown eyes. <laughs> brown eyes. That could be symbolic. Isn't there a song called Brown Eyes? All I can think of. No, I think I'm thinking of Hungry Eyes. <laughs> But there is a song called Brown Eyes by Destiny's Child that could be symbolic. We have masculine energy. I told you this is a masculine person. Doesn't, have, doesn't matter the gender. You're all beautiful and perfect. Um, yeah, this is someone who's very masculine, very... They know their worth. They're not afraid to go after what they want. They say what they mean. They mean what they say. They have a strong foundation. We have signs and synchronicities, repeating numbers, feathers, butterflies. So if you're seeing signs, start looking up what those signs mean. Feels like this person or the universe is trying to send you signs about this person. Um, we also have protected. So just know that you're protected. This won't pass you by. We also have jump, take a risk, in it to win it. So you may have to put yourself out there to meet somebody. Um, that could be saying that you need to put yourself out there. Maybe you want to go... Is that a parachute or is that someone being pulled by a boat? 
Either way, maybe you want to go do that. <laughs> maybe the instructor is your soulmate. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. The, the universe works in such amazing ways. We have Sirius settling down stable, solid foundation. I told you this is someone who's ready to settle down. We have marriage. This is someone who's ready to settle down. This is someone who is very serious about you once the two of you start canoodling. <laughs> this is someone who's excellent communication, healthy, clear, communicates their needs. And that's just what you need. You need someone stable, like that fox card. You need someone willing to meet you, provide for you, reciprocate. Do we want to just get a couple more? We'll just get a couple more. Why not? We have vacation! I told you, I told you. Take a trip. <laughs> I told you to. <laughs> Say, Kelly made me do it. <laughs> if you've been thinking about taking a trip... Take that trip. I'm telling you. For a lot of you people, <laughs> you people, you're going to meet this person on vacation. I want to know where you go. Oh, extrovert, outgoing, life and soul limelight. So this could be someone very outgoing. Maybe you're not used to that. We also have children. So you could have children with this person. I already said that. Oh, blue eyes. So we have blue and brown eyes, um, if that's symbolic to anyone. But yeah, that's what we have for you. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this resonated. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow with more readings if I'm not feeling under the weather because I do have a cold. But anyway, um, I love you guys. I missed you on the weekend. You guys are so sweet, all your messages. <laughs> Anyway, you make my life better too, so thank you for saying that. And I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>